Mm-hmm. Yo, I heard I, I heard you uh, doing an interview, and uh, you mentioned that um, uh, Tadashi came on the album because he he replaced somebody's verse. Yeah, bro. Who, whose verse did he replace? <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't him. It wasn't him. It was another. It was a younger guy. Uh, he got he got a little cocky and basically was like, right. "Yo, this." He was basically like, "This song is not gonna do anything for my career." Nah, oh, get out of here. He was no. like, "He was like, you show me the song." Cause uh, Nico Emmett and Tommy, they wrote they wrote the hook. So originally they were on the Nico's hook. Nico's dope. I like Nico. Nico's dope. Nico's fire, bro. That's my yeah. brother, bro. Yeah, um, he's dope. And so he was like, "Yo, I was gonna do it because Nico and Tommy on it, and they're like the homies." But you took them off it, and you you put these people that I don't even know. They don't even have like there's like no name artists, and I'm like, "You mean like a Kleso Wolf? You know, right. I, I was, like, what are you talking about?" Um, and he was and. To be honest, like all the contracts were signed, bro. Like we're talking a week before the release, and thank wow. God, thank God, the day before we pushed the the release back. We pushed it back. Everyone was bummed, and then this yeah. happened. The like the the day after, it was the week from hell, bro. It was terrible, and so in like less than three days, I uh, was we were able to um, get Tadashi on it. He wrote the verse, recorded it, we mixed it, and he was on his way out on a on a flight to go mm. to see family, I think. And so, like, after he recorded, he did an interview for the documentary. He did, and so I was like, bro, you didn't have to do that, man. Like, he 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 killed it, bro. 